Hey, how you doing? I'm Josh with Wood Essentials. Today, I will be showing you how to make a cheese slicing cutting board. Super easy, super nice. These things, they make really good Christmas presents, birthday presents. I made a couple for Christmas for the family. Everybody loves them. Super easy to make, like I said. All you gotta do is buy a kit that you get at Woodcraft. It comes with everything that you need. It comes with the wire, the bar, the handle. So let me show you how I made it. To start off over here at the miter, so I went ahead and just cut down some padu, cut down some maple, also some mahogany. I'll cut them down a little oversized so that way I can trim everything up and square everything up to the final dimensions later. I decided to rip the boards a little over an inch. I'm going to make this cheese slicer edge grain so I can plane it down to an inch, thus making the cheese slicer an inch thick. This is one of my favorite parts, creating the design. I had one in my head already, but ended up changing just a couple of things here and there. Cheese slicer kit gives you a couple dimensions on how wide, how thick, and how long to make it. That's the kit I have in front of me and holding it up for you guys. There are also two versions of this kit. As you can see, I do have the large one, but they do come in small. You can find these at Woodcraft's website or look see maybe there might be a store close by that you can stop in there. And I'm pretty sure they have them in stock. I use Type Bond 3 wood glue because it is waterproof and food safe. Once I add the glue to all the boards, I will clamp it up and then put another clamp on top to apply even pressure so nothing bows. When I see the glue squeeze out, I know I have enough pressure so I just go ahead and stop tightening up. And then when I see all the glue squeeze out, I'll go ahead and wipe it all up so that way it'll be easier for me the next day. I realized I messed up and I forgot to wipe the glue from underneath, so I just grabbed a old chisel and took a lot of the glue off the best I could. And then I decided to take it over the miter saw and square up the edges. Run it through the planer to get my desired thickness. The kit said it should be about three-fourths, 
but I make a mine thicker, so I had to adjust some of the measurements for the handle and the wire. That I will attach later. It was still too wide and I had my table saw set up for something else, so I decided to use my joiner, shaving off a little at a time, also flipping it, so I will take off the same amount on each side. Deciding where I want the wire to go on the boards. And I just kind of start up the table saw, making one pass just so the wire can fit inside it. All I'm doing here is marking where to drill the hole for the handle. I did realize I forgot to record drilling that, the hole for the handle. All I did for that was take a long bit, about a quarter inch in size, and drill past the cut where I made for the wire. Grab my palm router and all I used was just a little round over bit to break up the squareness of the cutting board. And everybody's favorite part is sand all the way up to 220. After I'm done with that, I'll take a little spray bottle, spray it with water so that way the wood fiber frays up, and then once that dries, I'll sand it down again and make it real nice and smooth.
hardware in it. That part really wasn't that difficult. Putting the wire through the little hole there, I thought I was going to have a lot of trouble, but surprisingly, I got it the first try. And it just clips on, you get a screw to tighten it up, and it's all done. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to tune in for other episodes. If you like this one, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button with that bell notification to let you know when I post more videos.